head. I already told you I don't have it. How Sorry, stupid are you? This place. Never get the smell. Damn goblins! Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend, all right. Just another raw recruit thought he was in some storybook. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. Here's hoping we all make it in one piece. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroacan. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Go ahead, turn that pretty nose of yours up. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a gnoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Where did I put that Why the Lord, their sweetness. Ah, oh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, it is just a healing potion, nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. 
You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal. You like. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face before I try. <laughs> You're an idiot. <sighs> I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big scary goblins. You little split tongue freak! Why does anyone steal anything? Fine. I have the stupid amulet. Take it. To impress a girl, most like. It looked like my mother's, all right? Just take the damn thing and leave me alone! Keep it, kid. You need it more than me. Thanks for stepping between me and the kid. My mum gave me that amulet. But I think she'd be happy knowing the kid, is it, now? Yeah. I know she would. <laughs> 